Hey everyone and welcome to a layout using multiple photos. These are a couple of selfies, not good selfies because they wouldn't be a selfie of me if they weren't good. So I am um, just trimming them down because I've cut them on my selfie so there's a lot of border and whatnot going on. I just wanted to cut them down and then I, um, because the border wasn't very even on all of them, all three, I then put it onto some cardstock instead. So I'm going to line them up in order just using normal double sided tape to attach them and then all I know so far is I want to use the cardstock with the pink ombre kind of watercolour look and this, they've got splatters of the pink down the bottom and these three photos and that's all I've got going for me at the moment. So let's see how this comes together and what it looks like in the end. So, we've, you know, this is the last project for March, which means our new kit will be, un, you know, unveiled very soon and be sent to us. So hopefully um, you guys are excited for that and you're ready and you've used your March kit enough to feel that you are ready to open your April kit because April is my birthday month, which is awesome month indeed. But anyway, so here's the paper I was talking about. I decided it needed to go this way with these multiple photos and I wanted to use this tool as the background. I really love this tool and instead I, instead of using it as a paper layer, like a layer behind the photos, I cut it in half lengthways and I was going to do like double up so that's why I cut it lengthways but then I needed it for length and it was enough by itself. So I'm cutting it lengthways and I'm just going to fold it and like across the page so that it's a ruffle along that line where the pink ombre paint watercolour is stopping. And that's where my photo is going to sit. So that's what the, the design of the layout is, is just this line across the page with the multiple photos and a few embellishment clusters, one with including the title. So you can see here I'm just folding it all the same way, just scrunching it up along the line. And that makes a lovely little feature and enough ruffles to make it the texture pop and also be able to see the hearts and the fact that it's tulle. So you can see there it looks really nice. I was debating whether to put the tulle on top like that or the photo on top. And instead I go with the photo on top. Even though I'm just looking at that now, I'm like, maybe I should have put the tulle on top. But anyway, it's done now and it is in my album. So I'm just going to add some fun foam just so that it's up high. That ruffle, the tulle ruffle does add a bit of height. So I need to put some um, foam there and then I do need to layer the top half with a bit of foam as well. So that the bottom of that photo sticks up above the tulle. So I do usually do the first layer where the paper joins to the fun foam with um, double sided tape but then the rest of the adhering I do with the wet glue just so that it can go. I find when you are attaching foam to foam it doesn't work well with the double sided tape so I just use the wet glue. So just tidying up my desk apparently because I think at this point I was like now what do I do? Like can I just call that layout done? <laughs> So I'm just looking through my kit to work out what I want to use. Not like I said, I just knew I wanted to use these photos and the pattern paper. The tool was an obvious decision once I opened the kit box. But the rest I had no idea. I do try the sequin trim and I looked at the thickers. These little curios they call them, the Kaiser Craft. I, they look like flair to me and they're glass glass flare so they're pretty cool. I do end up keeping that one up the top there. I add these resin hearts. It's a nice little cluster starting there. But I just don't know what else really. I pull out this title with the words hello. I really wanted um, something to sit under the tool like that and it looks really nice there but when I was looking at it that night I couldn't see it enough but why can I see it so well on the screen in editing but not like it just doesn't make sense so I put it up there but it does get moved down to the bottom right of the photo and makes a cluster down there 
I do pull out the sticker book that we also got from Kazercraft. And I try and put some layers here. I'm trying to make it work. This is, um, we get two of each sheet. So there's lots of these washi little strips. And those Curios Flare, they have the best adhesive in the world. It is, will not budge. Like I can't even, like the shape of it probably helps as well. I can't grasp it enough to, to pull it off the paper, even just to tuck something slightly underneath the edge of it. It is amazing little glue. So I do pile up and make these two clusters here with these flowers and then the, the um, sorry, leaves and flowers. But spoiler alert, I put them on and decide I don't like it. So off they come and I go a bit more simple in my style. But once again, looking at it in hindsight, it's not terrible at all. So I think I was just, you know how you get to that point when you're editing, I'm not editing, sorry, creating after you've done a few or it's been a long day that you're just like, oh, this is not looking good. This is not working. Oh, this is my idea. Let's try that. Oh my God, that's terrible. Blah, blah, blah. Like, it's just, I think, one of those kind of layouts. And I thought I'd share it with you because we all make those kind of layouts. And I was talking to a friend the other day um, in regards to mixed media. And she was like, oh, you'd make it look so simple and whatnot. And I said something about, yeah, but you don't see the ones I throw out and whatnot like that. And she said, what? I never knew you threw mixed media layout she said I've seen you make them you just create and you know go ahead with it I'm like yeah but not everything works and those are usually those true and tried and true try and what is it true and tried th techniques that just work pretty much every time but when you're trying something new and different it just or if you're in a funk which normally I wouldn't be in a funk when I'm scrapbooking with others so it was just interesting to that I'm like, yeah, that happens to me all the time. And she was like, okay, well, that's good. That makes me feel a bit, a bit better. And I'm like, well, I'm not great at it. I just, I just try it and I make it work. That's, and if it doesn't work, then I throw it out. It's usually just what some cardstock, which isn't so cheap in Australia, but it's better than, you know, $20, $30 worth of product on a, on a whole layout being thrown out so anyway as I've been rambling on I've made those photo flowers and leaf clusters and they just weren't complementing the page to the way I wanted them so I have so you see I've pulled off the title I was like that's not where it needs to be and then I am just trying to work out how I want the layout to go and I am one of those people that if I don't finish a layout in the same day, so in the same kind of scrapbooking session, then I won't finish it because when I come back, everything will be totally different in my head and it just won't work or I'll forget about it and it'll just sit in my inner pile somewhere and just not be used. So, you know, I can make something and wait for it to dry while I'm making something else if, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm here tonight for a couple of hours to scrapbook this is not working, but I'll transfer that. That's fine. But a lot of the time, I'll just persevere until I find something that's working for me. So you can see I've stripped it back. I've kept it minimal. I put that hello down there. And I'm just trying to work out what kind of little bits and pieces I'm going to put under that hello to with those hearts to finish the cluster and finish the page, really. like. So I've got this one that says on a journey. And I like the blue, so we're going with a bit of a blue and a pink um, colour theme. And I write that there because I'm just, I don't know if you can see, I'm sure you can see. The, the selfies are, like, I felt really nice. I put some makeup on. Granted, I don't, you know, it's not the best. But I was like, oh, I better take a selfie while I'm actually, you know, tried today. But, of course, I couldn't get the angle right for what I liked. And none of the photos were working out. I just didn't like them and so it's sort of like hello I'm on a journey to find the perfect selfie or to work out even how to take a selfie so that is my title and subtitle a bit of a poking you know poking the fun stick tongue cheek kind of a 
a title and journaling but really if I don't make use these crazy selfies then I'm not going to be properly in the album so it's just me and the boys so it's a bit tricky to to take a photo of the three of us <laughs> So while I've made that photo, that flower, why do I keep saying photo for flower? That flower cluster down the bottom there, I'm going to add some gold uh, Heidi Swap colour shine just to add some splatters. Just because it was a bit too flat and there's those pink splatters down the bottom. But it's sort of the pink up the top was just too bare. So I'm just adding some splatters. Just in that little diagonal kind of a look. Obviously, diagonal is my go-to. Like, I've said it a couple of times. I've done quite a few voiceovers today, this weekend. And it's not the first time I've said it about a about a layout. <laughs> but we all have to have our go-tos, our little um, style and, and whatnot. So, yeah. Definitely let me know down below what's your, what's your go-to in terms of creating a scrapbooking layout so I, it needed some gold up the top which is why I added the gold swap um, Heidi swap color shine because it needed some gold and I realized that I had those leaves and those tight those smaller leaves so they're going to go up there to help balance out the the gold in the word hello I added a flower up the top and just having a play with the little bits and pieces I'm not going to over embellish it I wanted to keep it simple I like the the layout with the, that big bulk of tulle and then those three photos. So that's what draws your eye immediately to immediately to it. I didn't want to have big embellishment clusters, which is what was happening before with the leaves and flowers. So instead, making it more simple means that the big part of it, the flower, ah, oh, the photos and the tulle, is what stands out when you are first looking at it. I'm just going to put this phrase that says "love you" and cover it with the the flower so that it's overlapping mostly because I didn't want the U on there just love was fine but also because I wanted that layering to be connected and couldn't do that if I had the whole two words on there so just making sure that's sitting where I want it and pretty much there is not much else to this layout if you are sitting down and you're not too sure how it's looking then make sure you lift up your page or stand up and get a bird's eye view just so you can see the whole thing in the proper angle because sometimes when your paper is down on the table you can't see it in the way that you would normally see it so that's my little tip to make sure you're going in the ang the direction that you want it to go into so just added that heart to finish it off and that is done so I will catch you next week for April design team projects See you then. Bye.